I'll be showing seven new features in Microsoft Forms. This includes Core Forms, Teams Meetings integration, as well as assignments in Teams for education. So let's get started. The first new feature are improvements to formatting in Forms. So I'm on the Office homepage here. I'll click into Forms, and I'm going to drop down this and choose New Form. Now I'm going to give it a title, and I'll fill in the description. So I have a set of text here, and let's check out the new formatting options. First off, just select text and let go with the mouse, and I can bold. Or I could go here, and I'm going to select this and choose underline, or italics. And those rolled out a little while ago, but now there's some new ones. I can change the color of text, so maybe I want to have red text, or maybe I want to have some blue text. I can add bullets. So I'm going to select these set of items here and let go and I will choose bullets or I can choose numbers. And lastly, I can change the font size. So right here, I'm going to select all this font here and there are some options for font size. So I can make this small or I can make it medium or large. So all of these formatting options are now available in any part of forms where you have text. The second new feature is a URL shortener in Forms. So a lot of times the Forms URLs are really long and kind of ugly. You can see up here, really long. So if I want to share, what I can do now is shorten the URL. There's this checkbox, let's click that. And now I can click Copy, and I'm going to open a new tab and paste in that shortened link. You can see right here, it's nice and short now, and it still redirects to the same form. So that's a really handy one. The third new feature is the word cloud for responses. So in this case, I've created a form, I have first name, last name, email, what grades do you teach, and a set of information that I'm trying to gather. Now I've already got all these responses, and what I'm going to show is how the word cloud shows up. So I'll click on the responses tab here. Now on the responses tab, you can look at each question from the form. What subjects do you teach? Well, it looks like English had 146 respondents. And it always will show you the top percentage right here. It pulls that out automatically, but you can hover and see the details. And now what's nice is I can click the three dot menu here. I can unpin this, or I can also move it up to the top. The fourth new feature is poll intelligence when you're creating these inside of Teams meetings with Forms technology. So I'm gonna go here to a meeting I've set up and I'm gonna choose edit. Now we have the ability to add a Forms app, so I'm gonna click plus here. And let's choose forms and this has existed already click save now it added the polls tab here but here's the new parts you get suggestions automatically poll suggestions so i could say how are you feeling how energized or what's the status of your current task let's do how are you feeling today i'm going to select this one and add poll to meeting so now i've got this poll all ready to go i could create new ones right here click create new and I have other suggestions here. So there's a whole bunch of different suggestions. Maybe I'll do, do you agree with this proposal as well? And this is similar technology that has already been shipped in Teams meetings with forms. Now you just get that automatic suggestion to speed it up and save yourself some time. So this looks pretty good. I'll click save. Now I have two different polls ready to launch in my meeting. The fifth new feature is the brand new multiple choice quick quiz that's available inside of Teams meetings. So just like we created before, I'm gonna create new right here. And instead of a multiple choice poll, in this one, I'm gonna do multiple choice quiz. So I can do a quick quiz. This is great for education or in the enterprise environment, you wanna quiz people on what you've been talking about. So I'll select this here and I can give a couple of options. And so we'll say, what is Mike's favorite app? Oh, and automatically I get some suggestions. So I'll add a couple more here. We'll add an option, you know, Sway, Stream, Forms, Delve. So here are all the options about what my favorite app is. I'm only gonna allow one answer. And note, you gotta select what is the right answer. So I'm gonna say, you know, OneNote is my favorite app. That's the correct answer, but no one else knows that. Okay, let's save this. Great, and now I'm ready to launch this once I join the meeting. So let's go back into the meeting. Okay, we'll go back up and click the forms button here. Scroll down and you can see what is Mike's favorite app. Let's launch that one. All right, my favorite app. I'll choose OneNote because I know that one. And I'll hit submit. And you can see the little green check mark down here. That's the right one. But if then someone else guesses a different answer, it'll show up on the X. The sixth new feature isn't a demonstration, but it is an announcement that you can now have these form polls inside of Teams meetings with up to a thousand people. So we've increased the limit to a thousand people in Teams meetings who can vote on these polls. So it scales up quite a bit. 
The seventh new feature are improvements to quizzes, which is based on form technology, inside of assignments, which is part of Teams for Education. So if you're an educator, this one's for you. I'm gonna switch over to assignments here, and now I'll go down to the bottom and click Create, and choose Quiz. Now the forms dialog opens. Now if I wanna create a new quiz, Historically, this would launch me into the browser, which is kind of distracting. Now when I click New Quiz, it keeps it right inside of Teams. You can see Forms is now built into the framework inside of Teams. I could fill out my quiz here, and when I'm done, I just click Done, and it pulls up the assignment and it has attached the quiz. I no longer have to shell out into the browser and then come back. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest videos I'll be releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell to keep notified for all the latest posts.